So I think it's worth us talking about the entertainment on the Iona, and especially how does it compare to the entertainment that we got on Ventura early in the year. If you need to go and see what I thought about Ventura's entertainment, then check out the videos in our Ventura playlist, and they weren't very complimentary. And that's unfortunate because I really do like to be able to say what a brilliant time we've had. Fortunately, on Iona, I can say everything is back to normal. The headliners were absolutely amazing again. Their shows were stunning. The stage that they have on Iona is just out of this world. It's fantastic. It's an all singing, all dancing, animated stage. There's plinths come up and down and go all over the place. There's digital screens all the way around the actual theatre and on the on the backdrop it's I can't describe it. Now I did ask the entertainment manager if I could get a couple of stills from one of the shows just to pad my video out a bit but they weren't forthcoming no doubt due to some sort of you know copyright issues which is a shame because I would have loved to show you just a a glimpse of what we got to see so it looks like the only way you're going to get to see that is if you actually come on a ship and despite that I'm going to say it's worth it now we've had two good experiences on Iona and I can heartedly recommend that you come on here for the entertainment I'm not going to say the same about Ventura I hope it was a one-off but I wouldn't be chancing that again if I'm being honest who did we see? Well, we saw the headliners, uh, all but one show. They were due to do a, uh, a show that featured the music of Take That, and it got cancelled twice due to illness. They did cover the missing show very well with a Cuban uh, magician stroke comedian called Manuel Martinez and we saw him twice I would have liked to see him three times but he couldn't get into one of the shows because he was absolutely jam-packed and he was so funny I'm not quite sure about his magic I mean it worked <laughs> So if you ever stumble across a chance to see this guy on any of the ships then I would say make sure you go to his show because he is he is superb and well worth watching. Another band that we went to see twice was a group called Odyssey. Now they described themselves as a vocal harmony group with drums. Uh, the drum is quite funny, it comes from Southampton and uh, he obviously takes great pride in his drums and he spends most of the show trying to tell you all about them. They are superb. Their, their harmonies were out of this world. Not a note wrong. And they literally do all their songs with no instruments apart from the drum. And we found it really, really special. <coughs> and we love them so much that we went back and saw them again and the second show was as good as the first one so that's another one to watch out for and unlike headliners they actually asked everybody to film their performance and pop it on social media so here you are there's a few clips from their show <laughs>
last time on the Venture, there's a group called Pults, and they didn't get a even a one star from us, unfortunately. According to the newspaper, there was a group called Pults on this time. We didn't really identify them. Now we did see a group a couple of times around the ship and they were very good. Now whether that was a new Pulse or it was a different group entirely I'm not sure. Definitely different people. But again they were very good and entertained a lot of people in a lot of the bars during the trip. On top of that, there were pianists, there were guitarists, there were a lot of acts on the ship and I can honestly say that even though we didn't watch them all, we definitely got to see a lot of them and we didn't hear one bad review, we didn't hear any bad comments and what we saw, everything was absolutely spectacular and made the trip worthwhile. So big thumbs up to Iona, shame that I can't show you anything from the headliners, I think that's a mistake on their part, but hey, what do I know, they're a multinational giant company that wants to keep everything secret, and I'm just a lowly YouTuber trying to show you how good the cruise was. So that's the entertainment side from us, and like I said, I'm hoping Ventura was just a blip because normally they are very good, but if you are thinking of coming on the ship and you want superb entertainment, you, you can't go far wrong coming out on Iona. That's me from Travel with Rob and Sue. I'll say goodbye until next time and safe travels. Keep your eyes on me, I said you're holding back She said shut up